here on YouTube and today I thought I would come on and show you guys how to make now this is for the beginners how to make envelopes and pockets for junk journals and it can be used for beginners and also advanced and I wanted to let you all know this video is not for kids under the age of 18 because some of the tools I use I wouldn't even let a kid use okay so items you're gonna need for this project will be some scrap fabrics some tags some book paper some note cards journaling cards some itty bitty ephemera this one some tickets some scissors and a gluing tool or you can use liquid glue I might be doing both I'm not sure yet so let me put all this stuff back in my little apparatus of a basket here so I can find things when I need them. So we have everything back in its place. And I'm going to also add my liquid glue to my basket. As y'all can see, everything's stuffed in here. Not stuffed, but put in here. You can also use double sided tape, which is called. ATG tape, advanced tape runner. I'm not gonna, ATR. There's a word in there that I can't say on video, so I'd rather just say it that way. Okay, now let's get started. I'm gonna pull out one of my book pages and I want my pocket to be the long way, so. I'm going to take it and fold it, and also, I'm going to ink the edges, so I'm going to pull out my ink pad, whoa, not that, okay. And I am using the Tim Holtz Ranger Vintage Photo to do my edges. And we're gonna take my little dauber I made out of a makeup sponge and a binder clip. And I'm gonna get another sheet of book paper because I wanna do this a different way. There. Faster and easier. I'm going to do this side also because it's going to be showing a little. Now you don't have to do this step, but I wanted to. And I have to do a little bit more on the other side because when I fold it up, it's going to show. Well, down here mostly. Okay, so we have that. Let's close up the ink and put that to the side. 
Now, what I want to do is I'm going to put my, I'm going to use my tape, uh, ATG tape, okay? And I'm going to put from here to the end. So when I fold it, this is what it's going to look like. No, this, I'm going to do it this way. So, I'm going to ink up the edge here. I don't want too much on it because I don't want it too dark. Okay. And this is good enough. So, we're going to do it that way. I'm not going to seal all the way. And, I'm going to use my nail file to remove that piece there. I'm not going to do the top or either because I want it the way I want it. I'm careful. This stuff is strong tape. There we go. That's because I want this side here open to make a little like almost like a tuck spot then I'm gonna fold it over crease it you can use a bone folder or I'm gonna use since I don't have my bone folder out I'm gonna use the end of my nail file you can use the back of your scissors and I'm gonna seal here and here I'm just doing this for the video because glue even hot glue I don't want to mess with that today so we're gonna do this move there and remove this one you can use a pokey tool to lift that also and then we're gonna fold it over just like so And we're gonna get any excess tape out. There we go. And we have that. But now, I want to get something to put in the pocket, which I'm going to use one of my 